Hi, Laura Adler, Holistic Health Coach, here for another video in the 30 Videos for 30 Days series. And today I want to talk about um, a healthy habit that's not really that healthy after all. Um, and that's the use of antibacterial soaps. A lot of people think that, you know, there's this germ warfare going on or they're turned into these germaphobes where they're really afraid of bacteria and that they have to use antibacterial soaps and I want to talk about why that's not a healthy habit, why that's not a good idea at all. Um, one of the primary ingredients in a lot of antibacterial soaps and really a whole host of products that claim to be antibacterial from anything um, from you know bed sheets and pillows to pillow stuffing um, to shower curtains and cutting boards and sneakers and you know vinyl siding um, is a chemical called triclosan and triclosan is a really potent toxin that has shown to be toxic to the liver um, it's toxic when we inhale it uh, it has the potential to cause uh, developmental defects and uh, it affects the proper functioning of a thi of your thyroid gland um, among other things and um, this chemical also reacts with municipal water system supplies that have other chemical additives for um, sanitation and has the potential to form chloroform gas, which as we all know, chloroform gas has the ability to knock people out because it disrupts your nervous system. Um, and um, levels of chloroform gas have been noted to be a well above and beyond um, what the Environmental Protection Agency sets as um, the upper limit. Um, the amazing thing is that triclosan has never been proven to be more effective than regular soap and water. Uh, and why would you use a toxic chemical that has the potential to cause developmental def defects and thyroid dysfunction if you could just use regular soap and water? Um, so I encourage people to let go of the whole antibacterial um, obsession. Uh, you know, germs are great. Not all germs are great, but uh, exposing ourselves to common germs allows our system to build immunity to them. When we expose ourselves to antibacterial products like triclosan, uh, we develop antibacterial resistance. And the American Medical Association actually uh, uh, recommends that people don't use products containing uh, triclosan in their home because it has the um, ability to breed uh, antibacterial resistance. So what soap do I use at home? I use Dr. Bronner's. I love Dr. Bronner's soap. It's concentrated and it's in liquid form. You can buy it in bar soap. Um, it's fair trade, it's non-toxic, uh, it doesn't affect wastewater uh, systems and aquatic life when it washes downstream, which triclosan does. Um, so let go of the antibacterial thing. Um, it was like all the rage 10 years ago. Stay away from uh, antibacterial hand sanitizers unless they're just using straight ethyl alcohol as a means of um, killing bacteria. There are also some natural ones that use things um, like I think their uh, thyme oil um, and, and other essential oils that are, are naturally antibacterial and antimicrobial. So that's it. If you have questions, if you have thoughts, um, or want to know about other toxins lurking in your home, uh, drop me a line. Go to my website at www.lauraadler.com or make a comment in this, vote, uh, in this video post and I will make a video for you. Thanks, have a great day, talk to you soon, bye.